previously on Raider Power, Lady Raider Basketball. Let's go! You know what I'm saying? Let's go! And everybody's got to help. Everybody's got to step up. Let's go! Dedication, uh, her enthusiasm for the job. Uh, you know, I just think she relates well to the kids. She has a high level of energy and a passion about what she does. You think about the players that she's developed over the years. You see what they're doing now as people and who they've become. This is a, a very impressionable age for uh, young women, and we have a huge responsibility, but it's also um, a great opportunity for us. How many different, you know, young ladies did you affect? You know, what a difference did you make in their lives every day? And you know, I'm blessed to have such a great staff around me, and we really want these kids to understand that, yes, we want to win, and we want to win championships, but at the same time, we want them to win in the game of life. So now, they start to trap. So Key, what do you got to do? She's got the middle field. Kelly is great at X's and O's. I mean, he spends a lot of time with the basketball side of it, of coming up with different things that will be great for our team. He's an effective communicator because he never gets just super um, high or super low. He really has a, a calm, even demeanor. His poise, his confidence, his calmness is, is really good for me and the teams that we've been a part of. He is great to be around. He's a great uh, role model as far as a male figure that we have here. And so, you know, he's great to have. You've got to catch her here quickly, okay? Not a lot of stuff, because you that you pushed okay. up the line, they're going to throw it over your head. I think Sharika does a great job of that. She understands who our players are and what their abilities are, but yet she has a, a knack for challenging them in a way that can help raise their level of play. I think that they sit back and not only do they hear what she says, but they watch what she does. And I think that that is so unique about Sharika because not only, you know, say what I do, do what I say, she can back both those things up and that's important. I want my players to feel comfortable that they can come and talk to me about anything and more so that I have the ability to make sure that they're the best player on the floor as well as off the floor. There you go, good hands, stay down, stay down. That's it, no middle, no middle. You know, she's she's kind of a mixture of Sharika and Christy. She, uh, she also played at a very high level, you know, went to Final Fours. Just that vocal leadership and her knowledge, I mean, so incredibly smart. She is a tremendous, tremendous teacher and has brought so much to our program as far as her knowledge of the X's and O's and playing that point guard position. To me, it's all about relationships and building those relationships with players. It's not just about 94 feet running up and down the court and how many points you score and your legacy you left there, but it's, it's the total package. It's what they're doing now because this, these four years are just a fleeting moment when you look back on the grand scheme of things and uh, to see them being productive uh, citizens is, is what it's all about. So we need to get some post touches and go inside. Crash your boards hard at the three, four, and five. Less than 14 turnovers, take pride in possessions, y'all. Walking before the game, she just really tries to pump us up. And so we go through everything she writes on the board. Sprint back in transition. Don't let it take an easy basket the first four minutes. I guess it's a little, little, little bit of a review session before, before the big test, so. Uh, we're just trying to get them ready to go. The bottom line, guys, it'll be the little things. The little things, okay? Get back and match up in transition. You know, um, you want to come in and you want to make sure that you've got great energy and you want to give them sound advice on a last couple reminders before we go onto the floor and everything that you've worked on the two previous days right. up to that day. Score the offensive rebound. So while the defense in set, y'all get in there and go up strong now, okay? Six feet. I want to see six Texas Tech shoes 
the offensive rim. She's real positive. She's always coming in, you know, excited, ready to go, constantly talking to us. Attack them, be aggressive, be spicy. That's mine and China's favorite word. Be tenacious with all you do with and without the ball. Cut. Everybody just be ready to go. She'll let you know um, the bench needs to be ready to go at all times. We need help from the bench. Bench, be passionate, and let's get 20 points and at least 10 boards. She's usually pretty calm and um, real upbeat and positive and excited to, for us to get out there and play. All five go rebound, get it, and then we want to run. At the end of the night, when they say who had easy transition baskets, it needs to be the red and the black. You got me? I think just being myself, making sure that they see that I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collected. At the same time, I've got great energy, and I'm excited about the fact we're about to play. Use that advantage to flat out get after them. OK, you got me? Let's dominate at every position. Make sure you're holding everybody accountable, you're ready to go. I mean, that's like you're ready to go to your job. Just to get ready to go and pay attention to the game plan. Defend your home court and let's go get this done. Thank you. Ever since I've played for uh, Coach Curry, I mean, prayer has been very important to us before we go on the floor. And as they surrender the gifts, the talents, and abilities to you, I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would take that talent, anoint it, put your super on your natural, that, they, that they're able to do supernatural things for you. You know, get out there and give all that we can, and I think that's an important part of you know, teams across the country in their pregame, and it's an important part of ours. God, I pray as they go on that court, they'll be one in heart, one in spirit. Team, team tech, Father. One heartbeat, one goal, one mind. You know, we all are here together, and we have to stick together, and um, praying as a team is, has always been important. Lord, Jesus, God, 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 Amen. We're a family. Uh, I wouldn't just say uh, just the coaching staff and the players. We are just basically a real, you know, good family. Uh, great chemistry on and off the court. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. And so it's just kind of a time to, to get together and and know that, you know, we're there for each other and, and try to reemphasize the, the the one team, one family concept that, that we talk about. And, and then you get ready to go out and play. We've had some great crowds that we've been a part of on the road at Baylor, um, at Nebraska, at Kansas. But there's not been a student group I've seen that's been as good as our students have been. You know, the double T is powerful, and when we can all be on the same page as the Texas Tech family, I think it's special. What makes it special, makes the atmosphere so great is having your student section there yelling, being crazy, being wild. Red Raiders! It's all about the crowd being involved, and especially when you know a situation where you know we need to get a style where you're telling the crowd to get up and start yelling or go on a run now, we're fixing to make a run on this team and the crowd gets louder, you know. So again, you want to have that home court advantage. Oh, the student section, I love the student section. Uh, they're always, you know, talking to us to the referees, they're cheering us on, talking to us to, you know, the other team. It's a lot of fun, you know, to see our fans and um, especially our new student group, the Rowdy Raiders, get after it. Raiders! Raiders! It gets our team going and, it, and you want your student body to be a part of that. When you have students cheering for students, there's nothing more powerful than that. And they appreciate all the fans, but when the student section is, is always a little bit louder and a little bit more rowdier. Especially these last few games, we have more and more come, and we really appreciate that. That really helps us out a lot. The student section is great, and all the fans are just awesome. When, you know, they get all of a sudden real loud, it kind of gives us, you know, hey, we're still got support behind us. Again, you know, and it's so wonderful when students can support students, and that's a very powerful thing. The thing with our kids that, hey, those, those kids are in the section, you maybe have a class with them. So it's always important to have that student section there. That's great. You always want your peers to be there for you, so it's exciting. Just how many relationships they have away from the floor because of their classes and how those students come and support them. And um, when you can have a relationship, it, it makes that support that much more special. They show so much love. They're always coming out to every game, you know. They're always greeting everybody, cheering your name. It's just it's real fun. You know, at the end of the day, you want that team saying, God, that crowd was, was unbelievable at Texas Tech, and that's what we're trying to build here. 
our student section has really grown here and it's, it's been a great uh, source of energy and, and pride for us.